Chicken Dance Theater, fast version. Falling from a tree, landing in a pond, there a friend was seen. Out jumped a little old she said, hello. Let's play, what do you say? Come on, let's go. Laughing and playing in the shining sun, the loach and the acorn having so much fun. But then the mountain acorn started to cry. I miss my mountain, I'm out of here, goodbye. So we're going to show you a picture, and you have to guess what it is. Today we're going to focus on the letter C. This is the C. Thank you. Okay, so let's see the first picture, okay? Let's look at the first picture. Do you know what this is? Yes. Okay, well let's let the um, viewers guess. Wonder what it is. It's a four-letter word. Give up. Kyrie, what is it? Crab. Um, Very good. Crab. That's good. Yes. Shall we look at the next picture? Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look. I wonder what this is. Hmm. Mia, have you been in this? On this? Have you been on this? Yes. Yeah, you have? Okay. So tell us what it is. It's a car. It's a car. Yes. Now, when you grow up and you can drive, what color car would you like? Yes, Mia. Pink or red or blue. Oh, that's cute. A pink car. How about you, Kyrie? Um, I would like to have a yellow. A yellow car. Nice. Okay, shall we look at the next picture? Yes. Okay, the next picture is this. <gasps> oh, I love this. I can have one right now. Yes, Kyrie, what is it? It's a cookie. A cookie. Yes. <laughs> yes, Mia. Cookie. Yes, cookie. Yes, Kyrie. I like chocolate chip cookies. I love chocolate chip oh, cookies too. too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what's next? <gasps> oh, I use this every morning. Mm -hmm. Can you guess what it is? Okay, Mia, tell us what it is. It's a comb. It's a comb. Very good. Okay, comb. Now, this word is really interesting because it has a B at the end, but you don't pronounce it. Comb. Do you use a comb or a brush? I use a brush. You use a brush in the morning? Me too. Or do you just use your hands and just go like this? No, I use a brush. Oh, you use a brush, okay. Good point, that is better. <laughs> What's better? Using your hand? It is easier. Yeah, you can use your hand and pretend like it's a comb. 
Okay. So should we look at the next picture? Here's the next picture. Oh! oh I can't keep the Can you guess what this is? Yes, Kyrie! Oh man! Camera! A camera. You know, we used to carry one of these around. I mean, we still do, but now a lot of our, you know, there's a camera on your phone, right? So yeah, but, you can take pictures yeah, anytime. All cameras, like long time ago, they used to be all black and white. They were, oh, they the, didn't show the colors. Yeah, that's true. The photographs were black and white. And now I can do wiggly eyes. <laughs> okay, very good. Camera. Camera. Hi, I'm Hannah. Today, I came to the aquarium to learn about many animals. Let's go! <laughs> the world is full of all kinds of different animals. And all the animals have different characteristics depending on where they live. So, let's head to Sunshine Aquarium to see what kinds of animals we can find. It's time for Hannah's Field Trip. bright cars. So, do you know why they have a bright cars? Um, I think it's so that other animals can be careful. Yeah, that's correct. So, they have a bright car and tell the predators that we, we have a poison, very strong poison. Some type of them has a very, very strong poison. Sometimes people gonna be die. With the poison. This time, Hannah will learn about the poison frog. Its skin looks so bright and beautiful, but you have to be careful because it is very poisonous. So I have a question for you. Do you know the, what is the baby of the frogs? Oh, tadpole. Yes, it's correct. So, frog is amphibian. Mm -hmm. So, on, in the baby time, they are tadpole mm -hmm. and they breathe from gill and become an adult. They breathe with the lungs. Oh. It's characteristic of uh, amphibian. <laughs> As I'm sure you all know, frogs are amphibian animals that start their lives living in the water. And once they grow up, they live on land. Today, I learned a lot about poison frogs. Thank you for teaching me about them. Yeah, welcome. Among all the different types of frogs, poison frogs are very rare. But you can see them at Sunshine Aquarium. So be sure to check them out next time you're there. I'm your music teacher, Greg. How are you today? You know, in Japan, we have so many special, special days, and I love the ones in spring, like Girls' Day or Hinomatsuri. Did you put up the little dolls in your house? Here's a song called The Happy Doll Festival. Come and light the paper covered colored lamps today. Come and set the pink peach flowers on this happy day. Five chord music men are playing flutes and drums. Happy are we on the day the Dal Festival comes. Come and see the Emperor and the Empress Dal. Sitting on the stand, they're looking serious to all. When my sister came that night, all dressed up as a bride. Like the doll, her face was white when she first came inside. Come and wear your kimono and tie up the obi. 
dress up in your finest clothes so everyone can see. Spring is here in the air and every day is fun. Happy are we on the day that Dal Festival comes. Teacher Kyrie are going to give you a series of hints, and you have to guess what the word is, and you have to guess what letter is missing. So let's take a look at the first problem. Here it is. So let's start with Kyrie. Um, it's something that flies and it carries people, and it carries like people's bags and. That's right. Very good. And how about you, Mia? Can you give us a hint? Well, sometimes they live on the beach, uh -huh. but at nighttime they crawl out of their sand or water sand to find food. Very good. Okay, so what's the word, Kyrie? Um, airplane. Very good. And how about you, Mia? What's the word? Oh, yeah, that's the Crab. letter. Crab. Very good. So the answer is R. Okay, that's great. So let's take a look at the next problem. Okay, Kyrie, can you give us a hint for the word that goes down? It like carries people. Carries people. Very it good. It has four wheels. Yes. It doesn't have wings. Uh-huh. Doesn't have wings. Very good. How about you, Mia? Can you give us a hint for the word that goes across? Okay. It's a food mm -hmm. that everyone really likes to eat. Okay. And you can mix it with peanut butter. Oh. Honey. Uh-huh. Then it will taste really yummy. Eat it again. I know. So what's your answer, Mia? Go ahead. The answer is, well, mine mm -hmm. is banana. Very good. And how about you, Kyrie? Car. That's right. So the answer, the missing letter is A. And Very good. A. A. That's great. So let's take a look at the next problem. Okay, so Kyrie, can you give us a hint for the word that goes down? It's something that's really cute and uh -huh. then it walks with four legs. Mm -hmm. Can you, you wanna you wanna show us what kind of sound it makes? Oh, really? Yeah, so it's like... All right, so let's keep that and then you give us a hint for the word going across. It's really yummy. Everyone wants to eat it every day and mostly every night. Is that right? It's made out of sugar. Uh huh. And it's pretty much well. Some are brown, some are red velvet. <laughs> That's right. Okay. But it's not complicated. Okay. So what's the answer, Mia? It's a cookie. Okay. So oh, what's the word, Kyrie? Dog. Dog. Very good. So the missing letter is O. Oh. Oh. Very good. That doesn't look like a little dish. The ant and the grasshopper. One hot summer day, the ants were getting ready for the coming winter by gathering as much food as possible. Near where the ants were working was a grasshopper who spent all day singing carefree. He looked at the ants and asked them, why are you all working so hard? Let's relax and sing together. The ants replied, if we don't prepare for winter, we'll be in trouble. There's no time for playing now. But winter is so far away, you silly ants, said the grasshopper and continued to sing. Soon enough, summer ended and fall began. Yet the grasshopper still refused to work. Before he knew it, the cold winter had come. The snow fell, covering the land in white. There wasn't any food to be found. The grasshopper, desperately searching for food, grew incredibly hungry. I'm starving. Is there no food to be found at all? After walking around in the snow for a long while, the grasshopper found a house with a light on. He knocked on the door, saying, I'm dying of hunger. 
Please share some of your food with me. The grasshopper then realized the house belonged to the ants. Oh, ants, give me some food. The ants replied, This is what you get for not preparing for winter. We will not share any of our food with you. Regretful he had spent all summer playing around, the grasshopper walked back out into the snow to search for food. The end. Kids Challenge. My name is Ira and I go to Awa Japan International School. Our challenger today is Ira. He goes to an international school. Every day he helps his mom around the house, but eventually he hopes to be able to do everything on his own. I want to use this Chinese cabbage for dinner tonight. Can you help me cut it? Okay. So hold the knife. And the part where it's green, the leaf part, I want you to cut it big. And the white part, I want you to cut it skinny. Okay? So let's try. This time, Ira will try cutting vegetables. How will he do? When using a knife, you have to make sure to hold onto it tight so you don't drop it. And when holding the vegetables with your other hand, make a fist so you don't accidentally cut your fingers. Can you cut it from this side first? Okay, good. You have the cat's hand. Okay, cut. That's good. Okay, another one. A little bit bigger. Okay. Chinese cabbages have soft leaves and a hard stem. When cutting them, it's important to cut the hard stem part into thin pieces and the soft leaves into larger ones so they can cook evenly. This tip also applies to all other vegetables. Now, is it still the leaf part or the white part? Kind of mixed. Kind of mixed. Then let's cut it a little bit smaller than this one. A little bit smaller. Like that. Okay, and how about now? Is it white or leaf? Both. Both, but mostly? White. Mostly white, so let's cut it smaller. Maybe that's too small. Okay. Okay. Instead of going like this, maybe you want to go like that, with big power. No, 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 no. Like that, watch your fingers. Like that. Is that easier? Okay. Good. And one last one. Thank you. I'll make yummy soup for dinner tonight. Thank you very much. Great job, Ira. Next time your mom is preparing dinner, be sure to ask her if you can help. For something, think of the reasons why you can find it and not why you can't. Thanks for watching our show today. Thank you. Hope you learned some English from us. Thanks for watching our show today. Till next time. We hope you watch it. Bye. 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 Chicken Dance Theater Super Fast Version. Let's do the chicken dance together. <laughs> <laughs>